main room in Skaya. Yeah, yeah. Were you instrumental in the in the move into this building? Yeah, it's fairly instrumental. Can you talk a little bit about the decision to move in here, how you found it? Did you It's been an operation that's been planned for about a month. It's been um, obviously, you know, visible because it's a very massive complex, uh, large empty building. Uh, this is day four of an evolving process. Um, and we're gradually section by section opening the building up, cleaning, tidying using different spaces for good projects, for meetings, for discussions. If there was one message from the Bank of Ideas that you would like people to know or to understand, mm. what would it be? Share your ideas for a better future and put them into action for a sustainable future. And particularly if we're talking to the business audience, we need more sustainable business practices or ethical. Okay. And what are you doing in the Bank of Ideas that kind of supports that? What we're doing with the Bank of Ideas is unfolding, using an incredible space that is here to provide space for all sorts of groups and projects, meetings and discussions, to basically continue the discussion and dialogue that's happening both at St Paul's and at Finsbury Square, but also all around the world at the moment, in over a thousand cities, a dialogue and discussion on what we all want to create for the future. Uh, I think, you know, Everyone is looking at the entire banking system at the moment, uh, how ethical it is. We need to look at why we have central banks with debt, um, you know, debt money. We could be creating debt-free money. There is a whole massive economics discussion that is ongoing through all of these cities around the world. We've had a lot of experience with this. There's a massive amount of energy growing. What I can see is this turning into a very strong longer-term project with many different groups and projects using the space. Um, hopefully the um, United Banking Services, we have dialogue and we have discussion, which is what we're asking for a lot more. There's nearly a million empty buildings in the UK. Why can't community groups, people who need homes, community groups, environment groups use these spaces and it will create employment.